I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to graph a parabolic cylinder. Now, a parabolic cylinder is not the easiest thing to, to draw in the world by hand, simply because it's a three-dimensional object. Oftentimes, when it comes to 3D objects, you either use a computer or a graphing calculator to help make the drawing a lot easier. But it is possible to draw three-dimensional objects, it just takes a little bit of uh, precision and a little bit of perspective. So, let's talk about what a parabolic cylinder actually is. As you might imagine, it is a cylinder, but that's made up of infinitely many shifted copies of the same parabola. So think of a parabola drawn many times over along a particular uh, axis, and we'll kind of go from there. So we're going to use z is equal to x squared as an illustration. Now, as you might imagine, there is no y here. And what that basically means is whenever you have a missing variable in this case, you will always have a cylinder as a result of your graph. So what that means here is that the rulings of the uh, cylinder will be parallel to the y-axis, the one that's missing. So hypothetically, if this was the z-axis, this was the y-axis, and if this was the x-axis, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a really rough sketch of a parabolic cylinder to kind of give you an idea as to what it might look like. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to draw this, again, the same kind of parabola along the axis. So if I was to draw like this, and then another one, let's just say along here, what you can do is connect the ends here, kind of give a little bit of a dimension. And just imagine, if you want, you could to make the cylinder more alive, if you will, draw additional parabolas to kind of enhance the cylinder, but you kind of get the idea. It, the parabolic cylinder is made up of the same pattern, the same parabola. Think, just draw as many copies of it as you need to, and you'll have a more alive version of a parabolic cylinder. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a brief discussion on how to graph a parabolic cylinder.